You found this video because you want to learn about Black Friday in e-commerce and how you can make it success this year for your e-commerce business. And if you stick to this video, I will exactly show you what was our strategy last year and the year before when it comes to Black Friday and e-commerce. I will show you our email marketing strategy, landing page strategy, and also meta ad strategy, and also how these three, they can be connected. But I will also show you how you can extend your sales event to have Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales before the actual dates, early November. So that being said, let's jump into it. So why Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Monday is just so important for most e-commerce businesses. Back in 2022, Shopify merchants, they generated more than $7 billion in sales. And half of this actually came from the United States. And now I'm just talking about Shopify and only about the US mainly. Actually, this is the major event of uh, e-commerce, the major sales event of e-commerce across the whole year. And uh, there are businesses where it's not that important for for example, B2B e-commerce or certain high AOV niches. But we can see that for majority of e-commerce stores, Black Friday, Cyber Monday is just so crucial. And uh, when it comes to certain niches, it can make or break the profitability of a company for the whole year. There are really seasonal stores as well and, uh, and gifting stores where people, they buy gifts for Christmas, so obviously. So obviously it's a primary event for most uh, e-commerce stores. We can also see that the average cart value in the US, it was $105 two years ago. And since then it has uh, even increased. So actually it's a misbelief that people, they just wanna find cheap items during Black Friday. They want to spend over $100 and even if you use discounts, selling for more than $100 is still reasonable, whatever you sell. So don't think that they just try to find a bargain on your website. Here you can see the best conversion rate for different marketing channels and we can see that email marketing is the winner and uh, it, it has actually a slightly better conversion rate than direct referrals or search or social ads or social media uh, more than twice as good conversion rate. So that's why I will just talk so much about email marketing today and uh, we will also touch ads and landing pages. We can see the main challenges of Black Friday are these five. So not enough inventory, brands they just simply don't know how much they want to sell, how much they can sell during Black Friday, October, November and, and in December. And uh, yeah, they just don't have a plan, therefore they just don't order enough products to have in their inventory. And then high return rates. So obviously uh, people, they just impulse buy many, many items during uh, this event. And uh, if, you, if you combine that fact with uh, a kind of sketchy or gimmicky, gimmicky marketing and you, you know, uh, trick people, then uh, you will face a high return rate. So you want to be fair with people, you want to be transparent with them and you don't want to promise the moon to them because your high return rate will actually hurt your business. This is important. I could see businesses going out of business because of this problem. The third would be acquiring low quality customers with no retention. So you don't want to get shitty customers even during November and you can see those customers who you acquire in November in the next six months or 12 months they actually don't spend more than those guys those customers who buy for the first time in July so actually in the long run their lifetime value is not higher or it's even lower so keep that in mind uh, number four is just simply a matter of uh, being organized so everything is done last minute this can really exhaust teams and people they can burn out both marketers and entrepreneurs so that's why you want to schedule things up front and you want to have a plan up front the last one is lack of structure and smart email marketing so this is related to the previous one basically when everything is done last minute it can exhaust people they can burn out it also doesn't help with your execution and, and basically with your sales and uh, and marketing tactic because you will not have time to really think about the structure 
strategy, you will not have a proper structure and uh, everything just falls apart and, and you just don't want to have that freaking headache when it's Black Friday and you know sales is coming in. So what you want to consider three months before Black Friday is Cyber Monday and when I'm posting this video it's uh, probably mid-September or end of September so this is the right time to get started with this. You want to think about how much you want to make and you know if you answer that as much as possible that's not an answer like what is a realistic number that you can sell and then you want to think about with what profitability you are okay to lose money on acquisition probably not you want to make this profitable or at least break even and uh, and maybe you even want to make a profit on your first purchase in November and uh, you are okay to have a lower revenue volume but with a higher profitability so you really want to think about this and then once you have these you want to decide how much inventory I will need so so you don't want to run out of inventory on the 20th of November or 30th of November because that will just it will be really painful and then once you have these which these are more more like business strategy kind of things and you can think about your marketing strategy so what offers you want to use uh, keep in mind that discounting is boring and uh, and you can come up with something more creative because like 90% of the brands they will just throw a discount to their audience and I think it's just you know it's really boring nowadays it's not it's not creative at all you want to think about bonus gifts buy two get three uh, any kinds of free shipping offers uh, maybe bundles relevant bundles to your different audiences so be smart be creative and really brainstorm with your team about this also check out what works in the previous months I put here at the bottom that run tests maybe you cannot read it because of my big face but run tests in September and October and across the whole year and really see what products are the best sellers and what kind of uh, angles really work for your ads and for your emails and you want to use them during Black Friday and uh, and basically in Q4 you don't want to test when the event is happening by that time you already want to know what the most likely is to work for you and then you want to decide what products to push you want to set up a promo calendar with what products to push what offers to have what content uh, you want to push at what uh, what time on what dates and finally once you have all of these in one place you want to share it with your team of course and uh, you also want to decide okay what content we need what uh, we need to change on the website what email campaigns we need what ads we need and ad creatives and uh, basically you can get started with the execution phase so here's what I think about Black Friday Cyber Monday I really think this comes down to your engaged list size your success in, during Black Friday and Cyber Monday and I'm really saying this because I know most business owners they focus on acquisition they focus on their meta maybe Google and uh, and their website but they kind of ignore their email marketing and now let's get into the strategy and this uh, strategy comes from the previous phrase that I, I shared so you want to increase your engaged list size by your uh, Black Friday event and how you can do this so there are four channels you can use uh, you can run ads especially meta you can use your existing email list and uh, notify people and uh, you want to use your organic social presence and you also want to use your website with banners so Basically, you want to use all of these four channels and tell people that uh, you will launch an early bird um, offer before Black Friday. So take people from these channels to a landing page and people they can subscribe there to your Black Friday sales event. Once they do, then uh, send them a confirmation email and then you can basically redirect them into an anticipation building flow, email flow. So you will send them an automation with different uh, emails across uh, whole November or even October and uh, basically you build anticipation. So this is how you can build a large engaged list for your uh, Black Friday sales event. 
And actually, you want to make this early bird or, uh, or VIP, you can uh, pick what approach you want to go with. But why we do this? Because during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, people's inboxes will be full of spam, let's say, emails. So what you want to do is just extend the whole Black Friday event and have it earlier, a couple of weeks earlier. And you can have the same size of sale weeks before the actual holiday event. And then you can repeat it during the actual Black Friday uh, when it's happening. Regarding the ads, you can experiment with the landing page approach that you can hear uh, you can see here an example of a landing page and then below this there is a sign up form or you can also use Facebook lead forms if you want. So you can test this out what works better for you but basically you want to run meta ads and uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to see in meta in your ad account what's the price per lead and uh, on the Cl on Clavio side you want to see what revenue these leads actually generate once they are subscribed and then the whole math will uh, make sense uh, in most cases because let's say you pay one dollar per uh, email subscriber and 10 percent of them they buy and you have a hundred dollar average order value then uh, it's just clearly a win-win because you basically pay ten dollars to get one customer uh, who pays 100 usd for the first purchase so it's typically a very profitable strategy and this is why i share this so you need emails you you need ads and you need your landing page and here's the example flow that we sent out to the subscribers for the early bird black friday uh, email list as you can see they are super engaged the open rates are over 50 percent the click rates are typically over 10 or even 20 percent and the sales you can see in a couple of weeks uh, a bit more than 2,000 people they generated more than twenty thousand dollars so one email subscriber generated uh, more than ten dollars basically Basically. So it's just super profitable for this company. And again, you want to make it an early launch. So you can make it uh, mid-November and you can run these ads on Meta where you tell people that uh, they can subscribe to this VIP list and they will get early bird access and uh, basically um, they will just subscribe to your list. Okay, so let's say you, you implemented this strategy and now the real Black Friday Cyber Monday event is coming. It's around 25th of November. Uh, same time when I have my birthday actually so basically regarding meta you want to create four ad sets and uh, four different audiences so the first one will be just simply broad targeting you don't overthink this just create a broad targeting second will be everyone who engaged with your social media in the last six months third every website visitor from the past six months and the last one is all email subscribers and buyers in the last six months typically this is the highest quality audience but also this is the smallest in most cases so this is why we add this as well you want to add at least four ads to each ad set and uh, and you run this as a CBA, CBO campaigns basically so this is the setup that we use regarding meta ads during Black Friday and uh, when it comes to budgeting so we can see that it's better to start with a large budget and if it doesn't work out scale down than doing the opposite actually scaling up up, it's harder during Black Friday so it's better to start with a large budget and if it doesn't work out during the day or during you know these days then you can scale down and uh, this is the only time of the year when you can be really aggressive and you want to check your account your campaigns at least four times a day so I put here 8 a.m. noon 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. and uh, based on what you can see you can decide if you want to scale up or scale down but if let's say your target ROAS is 5x and you have a 10x ROAS at 8 a.m. or at noon then obviously you want to spend more so this is how you adjust your strategy with meta ads during Black Friday okay so now let's talk about email during Black Friday as I said it all comes down to your engaged list size so by the end of November you really want to grow your engaged list size when it comes to email and also SMS so I think it's not about 
cold traffic acquisition on Meta, but it's, it's more about building the right list for you. You use exclusivity, scarcity, urgency, and fear of missing out during these days. Basically, you want to have the structure already by the beginning of November, so your time, so your team, they have time to implement everything that you planned out. Here we can see an example of a Klaviyo account. So as you can see, this brand generated a couple thousand dollars or even five, six thousand uh, actually British pounds for uh, each email campaign. And this one, the VIP launch got almost 15,000 uh, pounds uh, for this brand. You can also see that the engagement is great. So the click rate are 2%, 6%, 16%, so super high. So here uh, is the Black Friday winning strategy. Typically, you want to make it not just one day, but at least three days up to seven days. I really like the, st the structure from Monday to Monday. So from Monday to Cyber Monday and then Black Friday is on Friday. We have the weekend as well. Typically, you know, that's my favorite structure. But uh, basically, once you have this early bird uh, thing, two weeks before Black Friday, during uh, this one week event, Monday to Monday, this is the structure that we use. So we send a pre-announcement email without a link um, and we tell people that something big will happen tomorrow and we will just uh, open up our big sales event for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So stay tuned and look for this email with this subject line tomorrow. And then the next day we send a grand opener email. We simply tell people that the event just opened up and they get the incentive and they can buy. Typically this email ge generates the most revenue by the way. And then the next one will be basically email them every day, at least once or even twice. If you want, you can even change the offers every day so you can be creative about it. And uh, by Cyber Monday, you want to start sending urgency emails we send at least three and also we add SMS marketing basically we tell people that only 24 hours left only 12 hours left only six hours left we make these very you know super simple emails plain text plus SMS and just really create you know FOMO and scarcity around uh, these offers so here's an example of SMS that you can send out as you can see each generated around a couple uh, or around one two thousand dollars and uh, here are email campaigns as well that you can send out so here are the reminder emails after the grand opener the grand opener generated the most revenue for this brand twelve thousand uh, pounds and after every email uh, every day we sent out at least one and then here we start the urgency emails as well 15 hours before the the uh, closing uh, point of this uh, sales event and uh, this also generated pretty good numbers here so again Black Friday Cyber Monday is really about preparation you want to decide how much money you want to make with what profitability how much inventory you need for that and also what offers you can provide and what marketing strategy you need across different marketing channels to make those numbers really happen. You want to make this a success for your brand and this can really take your business to the next level. That's what I see in the e-commerce space. So use email marketing in a smart way and uh, come up with an early bird VIP strategy before Black Friday so you can have a double peak um, revenue number in uh, November actually so you have black friday before actual black friday which is just uh, really amazing to see i think and also still this meta strategy during black friday you want to really be there and just check it four times a day and see how your campaigns perform and same for email marketing so make sure that you have the right cadence don't be afraid to send out a lot of text messages a lot of email campaigns to your subscribers to hit those numbers hope you enjoyed and even more importantly you learned a lot from this video here at budai media our goal is to help at least 1000 e-commerce businesses grow with high quality marketing because we can see too much shit out there if you like this video make sure that you go down you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my weekly videos we collected the top 100 email templates from the past six years and these generated tens of thousands of dollars for our clients so go down and click the link and get this uh, 100 templates for free and finally i will drop you one more video here make sure that you check it out as well